going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to 3D motion track in After Effects. So as you can see I have After Effects CC open and if I come across this, this is the same clip you saw at the start of the video and we're simply going to track text onto this wall. Now it's really simple to do and the first thing you need to do is make sure your video is selected here in your timeline and then you want to come over to the tracker. Now for some people your tracker may already be here, as you can see mine isn't and the way we're going to fix that we're going to head over to window and as you'll see down here it says tracker just select that as you can see the tracker is now opened. Now what we're going to be doing is selecting track camera, this will enable us to have the 3D on it. So select track camera and now this will happen. Now this can take some time, it depends on the uh, power of your PC and it also depends how long this video actually is. So right now I'm going to fast forward all of this. So as you can see it is now done, after it does the analysis it then goes and solves the camera which is much quicker. But as you'll see we get these points all over the screen and these are tracking points and you can pick which one you like. Now what I like to do I like to come over to the side over here and as you can see it says track point size, I like to bring it up all the way and it just makes it easier when it comes to tracking. And then what we're going to do we're going to come across and as you'll see as I highlight over this we get the track point. Now what you want to do is find one that suits your perspective and for me it is probably this one right here or this one. So I'm going to left click it and as you'll see we'll get these dots here. Now all you need to do from here is right click and then select create text and camera. Select this, as you'll see we'll get some text. Now yes it is all the way up there but we will be fixing it as well. So come over to the text down here, as you can see we now get control of how we want the text. Now I recommend using or moving the text with the Y and the X and of course the Z from here otherwise it does get messed up. The next thing I'm going to do I'm going to put this anchor point in the center of our text so we can move it around. So to do that I'm going to press Y on my keyboard to bring up this tool. Alternatively you can come up to the top and select it from here and now we're just going to left click and bring this to the center like so. As you can see it snaps into place so be careful with that. Then we can come back to the selection tool and simply put it how we want it. The next thing I'm going to do is rotate the text, so I'm going to come up here to the rotation tool and then I want to find the Z right here because as you'll see if I just rotate, if I go back to the text layer, if I just rotate like from here we get the flipping part and of course we don't want that. So if I'm going to come to the Z as you can see I can now rotate it so it sits smoothly against the wall like so. There we go and I'm going to come back to the move tool and now we can simply position this to the left or the right. And of course we can change the text which I will do now so I'm going to double click the text and right now I'm just going to put death because of course the guy in front dies. And I'm going to keep it as that, as you can see come over to the side you can change the font, this is the font I already want and then of course you can change the size of it, just double click and then bring this up and then I'm going to reposition this again. Now as you'll see when I play through this the text is going to be stuck on the wall the entire time. Now a little effect I'm going to be showing you for the text, select the text and press S on your keyboard to bring up the scale and come across a couple of keyframes, I'm going to come across to here when we're past this pole here and I'm simply going to lay down a keyframe by pressing the clock here. Then I'll come to the first keyframe, I'm going to set this to zero. The text will go but as you'll see we now get this effect and it's also better because then the text isn't on screen while this is in the way. So if I play this from the beginning that is what we get and to me that looks better. Now we're going to come to the first keyframe, right click it, select keyframe assistant and select easy ease out and this will just make things look so much more smoother and then we're also going to come to the second keyframe, we're going to right click it, keyframe assist, this time we're going to select easy ease and now if I play this through you'll see it looks much more smoother like that and then to make it a little bit more meta we can add motion blur to this track and we can also get rid of the scale now so we can press S on our keyboard to get rid of it and we're simply going to come here and select the motion blur this is with it on. So I'll play it through now and that's the final part just like that. It's really simple, it's really effective and of course you can make your text look so much more better. 
I will be making another video soon on how to motion track images. It's actually very simple as well. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.